What's up everybody, it's Chris. So I get a bunch of questions about what's in my pantry. People are always commenting and messaging like, show us your pantry, what kind of food do you eat? What do you buy at the grocery store? So I'm gonna show you what's in our pantry today. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is my pantry. Now, a couple things, I actually, my wife and I actually cleaned it out because it's usually way more cluttered than this and we removed a bunch of stuff that was duplicates and you know because we have multiple bags of stuff in there or cans or whatever so it's actually simplified a little bit for this video so you can just kind of get an idea about what's going on so all right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pull out a bunch of stuff and just talk about it really quick and so you just get an idea about the kind of food we buy so the stuff on the top shelf is really kind of random stuff for baking that is rarely used but so we have some dark chocolate we have cacao nibs we have buckwheat uh, pancake and waffle mix. We have unsweetened shredded coconut. Here in the back, my wife had bought some uh, organic hot cocoa for the kids, which well, I'm sure we'll make at some point. Um, we've got some organic brownie mix. We've got uh, another gluten-free pancake mix in the back. And then we've got some sweeteners, coconut sugar, turbinado, which is raw sugar cane. And then over here, we've got uh, a bunch of different flours. Oat flour, unbleached organic wheat flour, buckwheat flour, almond flour, spelt flour, gluten-free flour, coconut flour, tapioca flour, and garbanzo bean flour. I have no idea why my wife has so many flours because she's not into baking at all. But anyway, uh, we got a bunch of flour up there. All right, now, next shelf, this, this is stuff that we're cooking and turning over all the time. Uh, you can see I've got, we've got some random stuff like organic salsa, fig balsamic dressing. This is a vegan Alfredo sauce, organic Worcestershire sauce, uh, an Indian curry, a couple different curry sauces, even some organic ketchup back there. And then we've got beans like this is a uh, sprouted lentil trio. So three different types of lentils behind that black lentils, red lentils, green lentils, and another bag of lentil mix of lentils back there. And then right here, we've got rice, red rice, pinto beans, black beans, garbanzo beans, and northern beans. Beside that, we've got some organic blue corn taco shells. So sometimes we do taco night and we use lentils instead of ground beef for tacos and they're absolutely delicious. And then behind that, a couple of pastas. This is a green lentil and beet pasta. And then behind it is a red lentil pasta. So those are bean pastas. And then over here in this corner are some canned goods. So like some tomatoes, garbanzo beans, pinto beans, uh, there's some coconut milk back there, chili beans, uh, and stuff like that. And then some artichokes, black bean dip, and then a couple broths. Here's a red pepper and tomato soup and a vegetable broth. And then the bottom shelf is, uh, again, just different, different stuff. So down here we've got pumpkin seeds, chickpeas, roasted chickpeas, some little snack bites, um, cashews, almonds, and walnuts. Uh, this is like a granola called Love Crunch, another granola that's uh, gluten-free called Purely Elizabeth that my wife likes. Behind that, there's uh, oats in this container, a giant canister of golden berries from Health Ranger. Um, right here, uh, dried apricots, dried cherries, dates, more dates, and then uh, some more rice here, and then we've got some nut butters, almond butter, peanut butter, uh, tahini, and in the back, these are like little kind of snack uh, snack balls. They're called figgy pops. These are pretty good. Organic. Uh, they're made from dates and other fruits and nuts and things. So, got those, and then uh, a couple little snack bars. Like you know, these are kind of those mixed berry cereal bars for the kids. I wouldn't say these are like you know, a health food, but whatever. Um, we have some of those. We have some other snack bars, Two Moms in the Raw. Those are like nut, nutty snack bars. And then even uh, organic cinnamon graham crackers. My wife likes these. These are uh, almond nut thins with the ant on it. 
Okay, here we are down on the floor, and uh, and here we've got um, some organic tortilla chips and popcorn and pretzel sticks. You know, really kind of junky-ish snack food. This double feature trail mix, which um, is pretty pretty good because it has almonds, walnuts, cherries, and these little peanut butter cups. So that's a special treat for you know who, me and and the kids. And then we've got black beans, some you know extra oats, more rice and stuff, uh, rice stream chia seed, this organic salad topper, and some dried figs. So just, just sort of a catch-all of uh, random stuff. And there's usually more stuff in here. It's a little bit more cluttered, but uh, we cleaned it out. We keep a lot of extra grocery bags and stuff in here too. So, and last thing is the door. So on the door, um, we've got a bunch of Bragg stuff. So Bragg salad dressings, Hawaiian dressing, Braggberry, which is amazing. The, this, the Bragg vinaigrette, some extra apple cider vinegar, liquid aminos. This is organic barbecue sauce my wife bought. I don't know, maybe she's got the recipe in mind. And then some Thai peanut sauce. And then on this shelf, this is some like detox formula stuff. Um, dried flattened bananas from Trader Joe's, which are like, oh man, they're so good. And then some dried mangoes. And then on this, just some random like curry sauce, sun-dried tomatoes a cranberry trail mix, um, more tomatoes, uh, pumpkin seeds, Lara bars, goji berries, mulberries, and then some snack bars like Lara bars, and there's some kids cliff bars, uh, kind bars, this paleo crunch, I've never had stuff my wife buys. And then uh, dog treats and some, um, uh, you know, sandwich bags. So. That's the pantry. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. As you can see, it's mostly organic, right? Almost almost all of it is organic. We do make it a point to buy organic food because we don't want to ingest pesticides. And um, it's just really it's the staple stuff that we turn over the most are the beans and rice and uh, and um, yeah, almonds, walnuts, oats, uh, and dried fruit and things like that. So that's what we're buying the most of and eating the most of. Okay, so that's what's in my pantry. Hope it was helpful to you. The next video you should watch is what's in my fridge. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do that. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.